<laughs> we'll have the live audience say tell us if we sound good right exactly but now <laughs> do you want to do you want to see if i'm live on your screen just to confirm yeah, that we are check. actually live yeah yep cool it's my actual channel ready player well it's live yeah yeah i can see it oh what am i one second i'm picking up reverb from somewhere like you talk right now it, it was probably me like listening to the stream there that's what it was oh they're 10 minutes late all right well regard that's okay so we're technically live well welcome everybody this is jp and i just <laughs> literally hanging out this is not any kind of real like planned content but we're like hey fourth anniversary we're gonna be watching the stream anyway they're likely to give some news obviously like new unit maybe some new vision cards uh who knows what they're doing uh right, well, but we're like we might as well talk through the news as they announce it live as we're going to do it anyway in a couple of days for the podcast. So at least add some entertainment, but I see a couple of fellas in the chat already. Welcome everybody. I do need to figure out how to view my entire viewership. So apologies, everyone that were a little bit behind, or I'm a little bit behind the curve on, uh, our, our stream software here. And with any luck, you know what? I should test this. I don't know how, um, the sound from youtube um yeah let us know if the sound levels are good because that was one thing we didn't actually get to check before we went live so i'm playing something right now for a video channeling the spell this is going to be a fire raga it doesn't kill someone how it kills nyads to land it kills you wdl right <laughs> i think this oh i'm pretty sure he this volume might be okay him, but the berserked uh, support could be pretty huge. Yeah, guys in the, in the chat, let us know if this sounds okay to you in terms of like background noise with how I'm talking right now. Because I would like to have Hiroki and Justin and all of them like come through the audio in our live stream. Night Veil coming out from the Shadowlings is going to land the blind on Vadim, which is pretty massive. Okay, so I need to go a little bit louder. At least maybe it's better for them. I'm not sure either one of these units and it looks like orlando is going to have to put his carry pants on to have it oh, yeah, he's going to go hell okay extreme it'll take out the lena but she has re-raised which basically just does her a favor Too bad, unfortunately is going to continue to dodge in stream in labs i like is getting the advantage. can't pop Chat out the current the viewers i can see what you guys are saying but i would love drop. to see Still no stop so that is the full list of peeps hanging out with us oh here we go participants but crimson cuts okay all right. Pissarro, who absolutely all right. pops off in that fight Lucian Might see some familiar names, but it's like everybody's got their their real name, name showing up there. <laughs> oh, How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah, we should be excited. This should be good. Hopefully you're all excited too. We figured like for, for the podcast episode this week, we'd, we'd uh, just do a live watch, live reaction to the news, and that would be the cast for this week. And kind of get the, the raw, unfiltered take based on what they unveil for us tonight. It's a good opportunity, too, because it's, you know, fourth anniversary of Global just happened a couple days ago. Uh, the 25th, I think, was the official launch date way back in 2020. Seems like, uh, doesn't seem like it was that long ago. No, I know. You know what, it doesn't, it doesn't. If I think about, like, where I was in life when I first started playing, it does seem like a while ago. You know what I mean? Like I was doing something totally different four years ago. Do they have enough dodges in the tank with this? Everybody, everybody was enjoying the COVID lockdowns, right? Quick question to those watching: Does the YouTube video cut up for you guys occasionally? Because I'm noticing if I alt tab on my screen, looks like that the video might stop. Let me know if you see that, or if the K Sean shoutcast has a hundred percent uptime. Bullets onto the Balo 7K is a lot, and I think it even landed a frostbite. I'm it still sure shows for me. I'm watching it now. Come in with the umber okay, bombardment cool. is enough to take out the Vistral right. with the rupture. He's going well, to drop it. Is in now. that case, then we'll go back. Or actually, maybe do it again. Uh... And just as I say, they didn't have enough damage. She says, "What the hell did you just say? I have plenty." So yep. don't you worry about yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like the, the video the the Halo is black. Is a lot, and I think it even landed a frost. I have no idea what it's... I don't think it's going to affect anything for us. There we go. Um, no, I think we'll be comfortable like this. 
I can share the screen with you. What's going on, everybody? See everybody slowly starting to filter in. Glad to have you here. Please also, if you're watching on computer, please also support the official stream. I'm, I'm sure you guys are, but we're going to watch it here. But, uh, you know, we also have it up in, in another tab. Let's let them get the viewers, too. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, we uh, we were thinking about it. We were like, uh, do we want to take away from some viewership potentially of the actual live stream? But, yeah, definitely join it. Mute it if you want. If you're watching us, take a tab out. Give them the views, though. Obviously, uh, want to give them as, as you know many good metrics as possible to support what they're doing from the live stream. What's everybody? Uh, what's everybody's predictions in the chat? Are we going to see two units this week? I know some people think uh, we'll finally get Global Joom, and Oldoa obviously is another one that we're lined up to get. Are we going to get them both this week? I have no idea. I I would be slightly surprised, but maybe not. It sounds like from. Well, I won't say anything about Joom because we're going to find out about it. But two would be a lot. That'd be a lot for us. Yeah, especially because you figure they're both be a hundred cost. Right, both hundred cost. We would technically have the Oldoa Hollow Vision card the week after, you know, bang bang, and then, yeah, two hundred cost and all that goes with it. It's kind of um, JP should be probably getting a, a new update here on the first as well, same time where our update goes live. Yeah. A lot of people are hoping Maybe. for Ashen Warrior King Mont. What do you think? He's, you know, in the game files, he's he's Earth. Are you thinking he's going to be Earth? I do think he's Earth. I think it naturally just the, the, the order of elements so far, obviously process of elimination. Earth is one of the few they haven't done. It's technically the original Mont's element as well. So kind of a nice throwback there that they keep him in that Earth element of sorts. Um, I'm in, I'm intrigued for game balance sake, which we've had so much good lightning over time now that if he comes in and really does something to elevate Earth, would love to see that. Not to mention, there's been a lot of really cool, unique additions to the Earth element of characters that haven't like existed much in the past in terms of you know a couple different magic units. And so if he does something to like really kind of do something cool for those units that have just been there but not quite. Obviously, from a job perspective, too, very intrigued where he'll likely jettison a job class way up to. Um, I think he was categorized as what, Sword Knight? Or... I, I think so. I, I think that's what he's going to be, too, because Knight hasn't really gotten too much, you know, in terms of units. They're still one like the least populated. And when you think about Earth, like up there, they have a lot of knights, you know, Bradley's in there. Um, and they have a couple of others too, so oh. he would he, he would you know fit right in. I think I think that's a a good spot. I know that it has been a while since JP got like a brand new collab. Like obviously the uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen rerun is over for them now. Maybe could be potentially looking you know on the half year you know we traditionally have gotten new collabs so. Maybe could be a new collab coming in for JP. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about tactics here in the chat. I would love to see it. That would be totally hype. That would be great. Oh, I hear some. Oop. Here's some music. That's me. Here. Let oh, me mute you. that. You <laughs> I got me so excited. I thought we were starting. <laughs> they must be about to start if the music is coming on. That's a good point. Yeah, so obviously everyone let us know too if the, if the music's too loud. We can play with some sound settings here. But uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'd hope for June. I know we've, for, we've talked about a couple different things. And to be fair, we keep assuming June. What if it's not June? Like, I, I would kind of be mind blown if it wasn't. Um, yeah, I mean, there was like some data mines assets that were found for them, but... They could just be sitting there. It doesn't have to be them. Like, you know, yeah. they could be in the next update and maybe there's uh maybe they do like a combined collaboration here for, for GO and JP. Yeah. That would be super surprising because that wasn't as part of the plan, like from Road to Worldwide. They said we'd be a month behind. So That's true. I don't know. 
I don't know either. To be fair, I'm also um, at this stage. I don't want to say pessimistic, but I'm 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 as my bar is way low in terms of expectations for like new, original, flexible, dynamic content on the fly that's like outside the norm. Like we're so regimented in how things typically go that I would be very much surprised if they did something to say like a joint global JP anniversary and did something like new to shake up the mix of things after us being like directly a month behind. I, I wouldn't hate that to be honest. I just, I'm not expecting it. I hear you. I mean, especially with like, you think about them streamlining the teams and, and things like that, maybe a little bit less agile than they used to be for things like that. Right. That's exactly Which it. they really never did it in the past either. So. What do you what do you think about Joom winning the the fan vote contest in general? Were you excited? Are you excited for her to potentially be coming today? I think she got my vote. I, if I recall back then when I voted, and uh, yeah, I mean I was a fan of her character to start with. I'm a fan of it too because it's one of those units that's not been prevalent in the gameplay. So to see a character come back into the swing of things, certainly nice when you get a character who, who fell off and you get a chance to use them again. Um, I also just like her too. Out of out of, you have to you know rewind the clock too. Back then, in terms of the vote of who was available, she was out of all the the crystal warriors, or I think it's what you call them, like among one of the easier ones to like as well. So yeah, very much excited. How about you? I am too, especially when I heard the some of the the juicy details. I, I won't divulge them now, just in case anybody doesn't want to be spoiled, but. Uh, the crafty data miners were able to find some details in terms of like class and element. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Hello, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the well, of the John Final Fantasy Brave Exodus Global Force Animator live stream. Yeah. Number four. Everybody I'm toast. Shrek. I'm yep. producer of World of the John Final Fantasy Brave Exodus Global. Hi everyone, I'm Nanami. I'm uh, World of the Vision Final Fantasy Brave Exit Global Version. And hello everybody, my name is Justin. I am the community manager. Nice to see everybody. Hello, hello. We haven't seen uh, Justin in a while. So no, I feel like it has been a while. Uh, first of all, I mean, it's been a while for a live stream in general. For, like, um, our delay and starting the this near fight. announcement was the last one. Yes. yes. It's, it's the kind of thing you don't realize you're missing uh, until it's gone. have a bit of a you know technical I mean? difficulty in yeah. starting the stream. So again, um, thank you very much for your patience. It's another way they've kind of cut back rather than getting them every month. It's like every six to seven weeks. So first you know? off, we would right. like to announce that the Global app is celebrating its fourth anniversary. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Yay. This is all we, uh, we've been able to reach this milestone, all because of of your support from all the players. So, uh, once again, thank you so much for that. Hi, and <laughs> Sorry guys, no, I do not have the dark mode for YouTube. You're all going to be blind of the whiteness. So we are very much thrilled to bring an excitement, exciting live stream with these uh, members that you see on the screen right now, but there's actually more. Um, we'll have a special guest appearance and we'll talk about the behind the scenes in creating the scenario Addison for Ray's coming? another story, chapter three, that's uh, currently ongoing. Special so guest. Do, uh, stay with us until the very end of the stream once again. Oh, that's cool. Maybe one of the, the developers or something, it sounds like, or the writers. That seems easiest. The voice actor, I think, could be a, a candidate, too. You do realize or that, actor, um, you know, right beside Nanamiya, we do have a bit of a gap right there, uh, as if there's someone who's, like, as if it's a spot for someone to come in. So, um, yeah, uh, um, that's what it is. <laughs> and I just traveled the interpreter for um, just doing something off the script, so... The interpreter will uh, make sure it's all right. It's, it's got to be <laughs> a staff member. But who would we know? Someone without further ado, um, Nanami, let's have you introduce the Maybe like the head honcho, uh, Hirono, oh, maybe? You leave it to me. I'm sure we're anxious to know Is he still know involved? I don't think he, I think Hirogi took over for Hirono. Okay. Uh, so let's get into it. 
kidding. All right, latest information. First of all, it's latest update information part one. And oh, we get a road behind map. Behind the okay. scenes of scenario creation for another story chapter three. And latest update information part two. And fourth anniversary design. Oh, the June of voice the actress would be cool. And the mini game challenge. And then future See some people talking That's about that. It. Now, before we get into the latest update information part one that we are all anxious to hear about, let me introduce a campaign. Surprise collab Final Fantasy 16 would be big. I know that that was just announced I in FFB. I swear to God, I was about to say that. I was wondering if they were going to bring the on the creator of 14, it's who's the creator of 16. 5, oh, wow, that's to, to announce that. Cost, a special Yoshi P would be huge, would be right? We would like like to have as many viewers as possible so we urge everyone who is watching this live stream right now to share this stream to your friends five thousand views by the 31st so, without further ado let's talk about maybe, we, can do, we can we can do it maybe, maybe three thousand four thousand Later, I'll information part <laughs> one hiroki san please take away yeah sure so first please take a look at this video take a look <laughs> oh, is, okay, so this is Oldoa. All right. Oldoa, okay. I'm excited for this unit. This is a fun unit. I've always liked Aldoa as a character, and like her original unit is just so bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It always Awful. has been bad. Unusable. Yeah. So yeah, I'm glad that this one is like actually really good. I just like these tanks because I think they, they uh, really enable the job right. insurgent card so, groups first, more so than others, where they, they really three. overcompensate. Oldoa will be available starting April first. Like the flag bearer for the for the oh, weapon class. Yeah. One. Uh, just gonna take a moment to have a look at the comments. <laughs> I think everybody <laughs> they want to see comments. About new okay. Costume. Yes. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. Yes, indeed. Like I, I actually like commenting on these. To be fair, I think we've gotten a lot better on <laughs> our <laughs> engagement in these <laughs> streams. There were a couple streams where <laughs> the fans were. Uh, I'll use the word troll right. if you know what i mean like there was a lot of yeah. um yeah. negative yeah. banter yeah. and uh, sarcasm and i always felt bad because they obviously read the comments live so thank you very much uh, for like, your exciting comments um, that doesn't feel very good you know what I mean? like, and, uh, this is what we're showing them our appreciation live stream, but, uh, it's also just like talking smack so yes I mean, to be fair, like, 2023 was a really bad year, like, managing the game. I know. So it was, it was, it was well-deserved, I think. Yeah, it was. I just I always feel bad, because you're actually, we're not just, like, talking to the, vo the Void on Discord, we're, like, actually saying it to their face, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I mean, you feel bad for them personally, but they're the face. Ice type, and her... Weapon type is staff, which is for black <laughs> the square days, stream being low energy. It always kind of has been. Yeah, I don't even yeah. know. I don't even know how you would fix so, that. I think it's partially here, the so camera angle too. Vanguard, physical tank class. Even yeah, like in FFBE, like it's like it's, it's pretty low energy. Attacks, such as right, like, it's not this like cool like swing camera. You can only do so much music. Or reducing physical damage taken by surrounding allies. So I'm curious. Exorcist, <laughs> <very powerful, laughs> Exorcist Oldoa. But you guys saw the limit verse already. I'll say who just so said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, for Halloween from the from Exorcist Vision cards, we were waiting for that forever. So we've got the limit verse Jaws of the Serpent. So this removes all buffs from the target. Within it's got kind of like some some Dark Fina vibes here with the Serpent Staff. Yep. Definitely does. Obviously appropriate for Fennis, which is the snake theme. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty good. Next up. We've got scapegoat counteroffensive. This is an EX ability. This bestows a barrier on itself that reduces damage three times and increases chance of being targeted and. Bestowed. Unfortunately, like the data in World of Stats JP hasn't really updated in the past few weeks, so we haven't really been able to see like the effect of bulk on the meta. Right. And four turns and bestow CT. And I, I don't really like study the videos too closely, but I wonder how much he's um. So there's a lot going on there. Changed her her play pick rate. Um, yeah. And the physical damage reduction, CT down nullify, and re-raise removal to successful attacks applies to all allies within the area. But the black mages are, are going to be super tough to kill when she comes into the picture. Like you think about how hard very good, very Elena good. is to kill right, already, on, even like with A2 and and like Astrius. Yep. It's not like a convincing win in a lot of scenarios. Like you you can beat them, but now just cut their damage by forty percent, and that's that's. Uh, 
not going to be a win anymore. No, totally. Well, that's totally part of the equation. Right, too. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the stream. Usually, Those are destroying. Uh, it's not quite. Uh, it's going to be. Um, but anyway. Uh, you have to look at Volk here, from the matchup of him, not only versus him versus Aldoa, but him versus the mages. Here. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's 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 more than just, oh, he hard counters Aldoa. Like, he doesn't do anything for the, the mages. That's still a problem. That being um, said, Eld has shown that he can hold up the, uh, versus the mages. So you figure Eld and Volk, that's two of the three. For ice, water, I'm sure you can use a slide in a third. Magic attack resistance up. and. Yeah, you gotta you gotta eat through Old Doa as quickly as possible so the aura goes away. A lot of great stuff. <laughs> and then Doa deal with the mages. Be very strong, and I'm sure we'll be seeing her around. The no, no, the new Old Doa is gonna be exceptional, exceptional. Like I would say, like summer glassy level of exceptional. Ah, uh, yeah, Justin, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Justin, thank you. I think now, it's it's definitely hurts Alaya the most out of any unit with her like CT effects on on her aura yeah. and just how anti strike she is in general. So like these strike teams we've been seeing that have been dominating, they're definitely going to be hit pretty hard too. This is all because of how well received. Very overdue for I like that they're adding the CT related. Interactions. That's a that's what the winning is the fights. Yeah. And now the current chapter three has proceeded to the latter half and it is nearing the truth of this tale. This chapter, yeah, let's let's move on to the next whatever it is. So with all this said, I'm sure some of um a lot of you are all wondering about things like um how did this narrative of another story come about? So today we actually invited a member from our development team who Thanks, is Crash Master. Sounds responsible like I'm a little for too creating quiet another story you. and would like to turn talk it up about the behind the scenes Maybe just talk and a also the setup of the, uh, the characters who appeared in uh, Chapter 3. Now let's bring him in. I would like to introduce Cole Noguchi, the lead scenario planner. Wait, what? We're already going to the guest speaker? The lead scenario <laughs> Oh. Interesting. So hello everyone. Um, as I've been introduced, um, I'm Noguchi, the lead scenario planner. Uh, thank you very much for I having me I didn't expect this. I actually am kind of intrigued yeah, yeah, yeah. how much yeah. detail they give. <laughs> uh yeah so noguchi san actually joined us for a justin and friends stream yeah, yeah. Uh, last year in la after the i remember that one yeah um, yeah, yeah, yeah nice to have you back on the stream thank you for coming hmm. i just figure another story takes away from the main story i just want more main story at this point mm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, I think back then I was uh, talking a bit about um, Another Story Chapter 3, and um, it's, well, it was probably after that that I was able to join Justin for uh, Justin and Friends at that time. And um, I still remember that I brought um, some Omikuji fortune telling for uh, Justin as a souvenir at that time. <laughs> Okay, oh, you're right, King Delita, Justin and Friends, it's been be quite a long time. time to be fair, I don't know if they ever got the traction so that they could have or should have. Um, it was very casual content, and I would agree probably not the best delivery of the information. But yeah, it's been a, been a very long time. Yeah, it's probably been like at least eight months, eight or nine months. Really. I know Justin has gotten more involved on the FFPE side. I don't know if that's part of it. He's on their streams and things. Eight months, right? We've been active for like nine months. We started doing podcasts like, oh, good. We don't need Justin and friends. So yes, uh, Wait, once again, Will, I Will am JB the, got it. in the uh, scenario production scenario <laughs> production covered. leader for the for uh, World of Visions final um, World of Visions um, from Square Enix. Um, 
And um, Dude, when who I, is so, this Denny Adrian talking So you might be wondering, moment. what exactly do I do when I say um, I construct the world universe and such? So when we say the world Come universe, on, uh, man. when we say the story universe, um, it's not just about the scenario, but also about how do we construct the limit first. Near bingo um, board? The what is he talking cards, about? And also um, about the costumes. I'm not, I don't know what bug that was. And but... also I do a bit of the voice directing, um, telling telling the actors um, how I would like for them to uh, portray the characters and many other small things here and there. But... Um, Simply put, those would be what I'm responsible for. Yes, indeed. So, um, when it comes down to constructing the world universe for War of the Visions, he is indeed the central figure. Hi, thank you, Nobuchi. Cool. Let's move on to the next section. Behind the scenes, Thanks, moderately. The scenario. Another I think like the the yes. another like we talked about this in the last yeah. podcast, but how they wrap up this story this really section, is going like to deep dive into decide how I feel about the whole thing in general. Yep. Another story, chapter three. We have yeah. like we we, we really want them to tie it about. into the main story so and, like and have some to, impact on uh, the like current situation. Absolutely. But and it can't be that hard. I mean, even if it's a parallel universe thing, like you could do something more wise to still not playing really make it good, chapter home. three just to say yeah. is everyone good to go well probably even if it was just like maybe like Sadali and Gilgamesh hey, Amnilis this was like right maybe right some reality that, that they uh, visited you know, via I'm sure you have you know that played, whole storyline that would be that playing, uh, some way some way right? to, to do it I love it right <laughs> I would hope so yes <laughs> so all right it looks like we good i think so I think so let's it <laughs> let's have a next slide please i wish we had a little more to talk about at the moment but we're not really so these are they're not really saying anything yeah synopsis Unfortunately, some of these characters got spoiled for a lot of us in global very, very early on. I think this this all would have had a little bit more impact if we didn't know like so long in advance too. That's definitely part of it. The crystal descended onto Adra to stop the Ashen Kim, but with their connection to the core crystal spear, the trial they face only continued to amount. Okay, for another story, chapter three, what drew everyone's attention the most was probably the mysterious army and the appearance of Ashen King. I do like his design, yes, like true. cool armor. Um, like, I mean, seeing Mashiri's defeat against the Ashen King at the beginning of the I will story say was, it, uh, it's a little jarring for me still that... Mm. They like yes, his art. Sure they took off the helmet and just put his face. Sometimes, him. sometimes it looks blended, <laughs> but there's sometimes I'm like, it, the it's just the armor with Mod's face just slapped right on like a sticker. If you know what I mean, it's uh, yeah. Right. So, I hear you. Like Oldo, it kind of looks the same way sometimes. Yeah, like you you can tell they like you know erased the helmet right, so and then drew a head. Like, mentioned that another story, chapter one. I don't think it looks that way for Katone though. I think like she she looks good. In that chapter two. I agree. Is the story of the activities of the warriors of the crystals and the story about wrath um so then what is the overall theme for chapter three also in chapter three we've witnessed the characters in the main story not the warriors of the crystals appearing in new forms um how did you go about coming up with the character setting and um do you have any interesting behind the scenes stories that you would like to share as well <laughs> i'm actually intrigued by this <laughs> Um, well, but listen, uh, you seem to remember very well, and um, plus, um, well, I mean, you, you know, you're starting off the bat with, um, you yes. know, three questions, and uh, you seem, um, you, you seem pretty, pretty well invested in um, the stories and such, no? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, these are, so yeah, um, I think it's um, time for Noguchi to answer these questions then. Okay, 
King deleted the fire magic esper. I would agree. That would have been dope. We're well overdue for one of those. Yes. So first of all, another story chapter three is positioned to be a major break for the stories revolving around the warriors of the crystals and. Until now, there hasn't been much connection between another story um, with the main scenario. And um, even if uh, characters like Mont or Jaden and so on were were to have appeared in the stories, uh, they were positioned more or less as a bit of a guest. We'll need a 25 lightning resist Esper as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm still using, what's it called, uh, Ochu for that purpose, but we could use a... Uh, Lightning's use... been li living too charmed of a life for too long. They, so <laughs> we need that Esper. Dude, Elias got the light. There's enough lightning in Paros anyway. You can give us some lightning uh, rats, you know what I mean? So based on, the uh, based on the development of the main scenario, so um, characters from the main scenario appeared in the story as the main characters and were very much heavily involved rather than them appearing as uh, guests. All right, I see. Um, so follow up here. Um, can I also ask how you chose the character and you know who would appear and their setting? Um, for example, like why was Mont the Ashen King? Hi, this is an answer I'm curious about. What's up, Zeno? あの、ま、基本的にキャラクターを描いていくときって、ま、インの部分と、ま、陽の部分っていうのを、ま、表現していきたいなとは思っているんですが、ま、モントというキャラクターは、ま、メインシナリオの展開上、あまりインの部分を
ヒトンというキャラクターは、まあ、どこまでもあの、まあ、モントに強い忠誠心を持っていて、まあ、忠誠心だけではないんですが「あのアナザーストーリー三章のモントの、まあ、絶望人間に絶望しているモントの一番以外いないかな。Definitely, yeah. まず人も選びました。まあ、これは特にマッシュリーとかグラセラだった場合は、おそらくコロスと思っています。Absolutely. But th th that this so, team is,、uh, is about to die. So,、um, with all the same for Kitona as we can <laughs> see here.、Um, so, I would think that she would follow Mont to wherever he goes、um, because of her loyalty and not just because of that, but、um, because of other things too. But in that regard, Kitona is probably the only one who'd be able to do that and the only one who'd be able to fully understand Mont's despair that, he, that we witnessed in Chapter 3 and would, would stay by his side until、them. the end. Like,、Sorry, for example, if、here. this were、uh, Mashuri or Gla would... uh, Glaciella, then what they would probably do is to,、um, do all they、though. can to stop Mont, even if that meant that they had to kill、cool. him. I do, I do think that、uh, I do like that choice for Katoa and like over like. Evil Glaciella or evil m a s h e r i a You can totally, it totally tracks that, that Katoan would follow him like, to the, wherever he went. It totally does. I actually hadn't considered that angle, so that is something kind of new for me. This one I think is an interesting choice. Like, why not just pick、uh, Lilith? Like, why, why even have the need for the brother at all? I would do a wig. I'd have to wear a wig. Probably because we're just about to get a new version of Lilith. A glow up. So, we were, that, when we were setting up things for Volcano, at some point,、um, and、uh, when we were setting up the story background as, as an extension of the main scenario, we figured that let's see if、uh, yeah, I'll be cosplaying more soon, guys, for the videos. I, I have to. to I usually pick up whatever I have behind me. It's nothing crazy. If I see something that works, I make it work. So, the logic is that、um, hmm. if Lilith was、um, depicted as An elderly sisterly figure to Mont, then Volke would be portrayed as a younger brotherly figure, and we had very much、uh, confidence around that. Yeah, they're going for like the yin yang. And let's、Opposites. have Oldo next. This one is kind of surprising. The choice of Oldo, I mean. It's also kind of funny seeing Oldoa be a lot more like serious in this,、uh, in this storyline compared to like she's always very like flamboyant in the she is, but in the not, main story. That's not what I thought you were going to say. I thought you were going to say it's very interesting to see Oldoa covered up this much. This、oh. <laughs> that, that too. She, she's completely, completely covered up here. Right? We went from like thigh goddess. Like just, she was like the first that came out. We were like, whoa, like we're getting risque, we're getting risque with the art here. And, and,、uh, but yeah, no, definitely、um, a change from her normal personality. So, for,、um, as far as Oldoa is concerned, What I wanted to do was to choose another character from outside of Leonis, but when we think about the Ashen King's army, it's a, that's a country of its own and also a family of merely four people. So, having said that,、um, Oldoa came up as a candidate because she has a strong admiration for her family. And、um, you, you may remember that she was, very, she was tremendously happy to become、uh, Gifford's、uh, sworn sister. Oh, so, that was actually a cute scene. Her and Griffin. Most important thing about all else. Are you that far? We chose her because she's a character who can. You're not that far.、Uh, no, I haven't caught up to that yet. But,、um, oh, you're a little bit behind then. The oh, it's a good scene.、Um, yeah. To fight for her family, and、um, I think something like that was depicted in the just updated most recent story as well. Yeah. Yeah, they had some cute scenes with her with、uh, Griffin. Like it? I think there's a lot of people out there that are enjoying. Um, the story and Oldoa, especially. <laughs> Shipping Grifford and Oldoa. Why not? Two of my favorite characters. Aesthetically, I don't really like, love anything in particular about them, but I, I just have an affinity for both of them. Grifford is a, is a great unit. 
Uh, All right, let's proceed on to the Warriors of the Crystal side. So, yes, we have our next slide. Everybody nailed this one immediately from the silhouette. <laughs> I was a little skeptical still, though, where we weren't sure if it was going to be all new characters or if it was dead characters only that was coming mm -hmm. back um it was a piece of me too that was like mm, but daro's already the sword unit like it's a little too similar i thought they'd switch it up they didn't need to they didn't do it he yeah, like right down to like his design as a unit it's it's the same it's just like an updated version yeah. basically changed his weapon to katana though yeah instead of sword Great tank, though. I feel like he's kind of gone under the radar a little bit because his team hasn't been like the the number the best team on the board right now. Yeah. He he's got things that'll last a while though. All these yeah. tanks with ore as well, to be honest. He's going to be important to look for like dealing with the with the black mage team. I think. I was just going to say that like he's the, by far the best magic tank in the game. Freyavi is second, but like he's. I think I so doubt setting, him, so as far one. as the setting for Dario is concerned, in the main scenario, he lost his life because his body could not endure the tremendous uh, magical power that he kept within himself. And this was because he was pressing his magical magic power through sheer will and lest it go out of control. So then, what what would happen if he was able to retain all that power, um, the vast magical power that he had in his body, and if we didn't deal with Venera's hips? That was, to his command. I'm so drinking he was a character who had, so when we think about that, he was a character <laughs> who still had room or to be fair, I'm, I'm not sure how many people that can. We had no choice but to leave no. it untold to um, depict all of this. So in terms of strength after their awakening, Dario happened to be the one who who was the most convincing. And as we mentioned before, uh, as we mentioned at the beginning of the section, um, considering that um, considering Masher's fall at the beginning of the story, it felt very natural um, that Dario, as her elder brother, um, he would be the perfect one who would be able to go against Mott. Interesting. So they really are going one by one for all the units. I'm, I'm surprised. All right, then, uh, let's move on to Shadow Links then. <clears throat> I love the ninja archer look. It is nice. It fits her too. <clears throat> I have some sims. Wait a minute. I'm reading the chat. I haven't seen anything in the regular chat. Oh, RPW is Uncle Bad Touch World Chat. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> なので、あの、シャドウリンクスっていうキャラをちゃんと描きたいなっていう意図がそこに含まれていることはま否定できないところではあるので、で、え、まあ、ダリオもあの、I never go into world chat. I don't think I've ever seen world chat. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't even know what it is. You mean like in game? <laughs> yeah, in, in the game client. <laughs> I've never even touched it. So when we decided to have Kitono on board for the Ashen King's army, I decided on featuring mm. Shadow Links about at about the same time as she as I thought that uh, she would be a suitable foil to Kitone. Um, mm. And looking back at well. when uh, Shadow Links made her exit, this is in the taking main a slightly long time because I know we're things, you know like quite a few things were actually happening the um, behind the scenes um, internally. And, yeah, uh, I didn't expect them said, to go this um, in depth, but it is it's I pretty cool. I truly felt that we weren't exactly able to fully flesh out uh, Shadow Links. So, having said all that, um, I wouldn't I'm deny that the oh, my not intent to the was to fully draw links, but um, <laughs> in conceiving the didn't the realize plot, that there could be no other person other than links to follow Dario. How could and, you? Um, right? A combination of these reasons uh, led to led us to ultimately choose that shadow. Don't look at game chat. Wait a minute, now you guys are gonna be concerned. And finally, let's talk about Astrius. This is an interesting choice that they randomly brought him back out of like all the crystal warriors. They wanted to. I mean, it, it's very much like the, like they said at the beginning, like the yin yang. They wanted to make like a heroic version of that of Vargia. 
流れになるんですけど、まあ、そういったこともあって、まあ、アルストリアも、まあ、望んでいた自由とか、あの人としての。That part of the, like that, that arc of the story, actually, I, I liked it. I thought it was cool to ask. ルシオと唯一こう対等で入れるというか、あの、Yeah, you're welcome, one hundred. Yeah, we figured this is just a fun way to kick it. We're going to get some news. We're going to talk about it anyway in the podcast. Obviously, it's the fourth anniversary, so maybe they, they throw some curveballs our way in terms of content or characters, or I literally don't know what, but <laughs> so figured we're he,、uh, just、um, hanging、Asterius、out anyway. This was actually the first character that we decided on for the Warriors of the Crystal side. So, if you recall the epilogue、okay. of Another Story Chapter 2, we ended up closing it by showing it as if it looks the.、Uh, As if it looks as though、um, the characters who、uh, died were、uh, reincarnated and living a peaceful life. And、um, because of this,、um, we. So, it was, so that was one of the reasons. And another reason that, we want to men- that I want to mention is that、um, he's actually an interesting character who has a very peculiar relationship with, with Lucio,、uh, in that、um, it's,、um, it's interesting how we can see that、um, he.、Um, Asterius and Lucio, they could be on equal terms, or that,、um, like, one of them could be a senior to, to the other, or are they friends? It's, it's got that、um, very complex and、uh, peculiar relationship、um, going on. So,、um, so, when, so it's, it's because of that relationship that he has with Lucio, and、um, also、um, it's a portrayal that、um, we wanted to, to、uh, reimagine with、um, Lucio, li-、uh, sorry,、um, Asterius、uh, living Dude, a life that also gave him the、here. freedom. To- That, uh, he, so, Asterius、um, taught Lucio how to be very inaccurate.、Mm. <laughs> very insightful. But you just think of that on the fly. <laughs> that's very funny. That was one of his first that lessons. That's amazing. Very deep. That's very funny. And very much welcome.、Um, so, yeah, we're very happy to hear that. Ooh, we do some WDL、so、folks. Welcome, guys. Yeah, translate.、Uh, if they're going to script these as, questions,、uh, uh, I would.、Um, but yeah, there's a lot know, of details. Let's just read from the script. So, thank you very much for doing that. I won't say too much because I don't know why. I think they went off script there. Okay. A complex、um, story behind in the another story. Like, he was a like, professor in the another world, that kind of thing. And also, he is very strong unit in the game. So, yeah, I love Asterius. He is very strong. I'm very strong. I'm, I'm <laughs> still kind of surprised. I'm not, but like, Hi. very well rounded unit. So, Very balanced okay,、unit. next up, I would like to ask Noguchi san some question. Are you ready? We're ready. We're ready. Right? Hi. Hi.、Uh, I would like to ask a question about strategist Odoa. As she came at Ashinkin service, her speech, her speech seems to change from her usual Odoa ethic、yes. way to a much normal one. But, What was the intention behind it? Are they talking about her costume? I couldn't, I couldn't quite hear it out. I think even if it's a little long winded, I think at least it's something not, part of, not, not like run of the mill, like the normal streams. His prior experience and knowledge were passed on to Oldoa. So, in doing so, it only came natural to her that she came to adapt the so called normal speech. She was trying to say aesthetic, guys. I think, I think it was aesthetic, yeah. Okay. Xeno Warrior Prince says they're going to announce a tactics rerun. 
doubt. That's his. That, so, that's um, his guess. However, in the process, um, she did also adapt to the so-called Odo escort uh, speech or Odo. I would die if they did. I'd be I, on well. stream. Which I would die right she's now. She's actually intentionally. I would love normally. to get the live stream and reaction the if that's the case. The reason for that but... is actually fairly simple. In that, um, Odo has very high regard. It would for be the complete, family, complete hype. Just speak in the same way as the rest of her family, maybe Mont, Kiton, and so on, and so on. So there's that, and also uh, she wanted to also act in class as a, as the strategy uh, strategist for uh, Mont. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day, my Cherie. A move zero unit because she's in bed just sniping arrows or something. Of who is the strongest among the warriors of the crystals in the Anada story? I'm sure everyone else is curious to know, right? I personally predicted that Purine and Velis will be the strongest. I don't know, but. What does the audience think? Let us know your guess in the comments. Who's the strongest? Is that what they're asking us? Oh, Renan, obviously. Okay. Well, Which of these units do you think was the, the best of this uh, Nagashi initial eight? Maybe like in game or results? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
So because of that, um, Lucio has uh, less magic power than the other warriors. で、ま、ラフに至ってはですね、ま、先代のカリドラのクリスタルを、あの、ま、今回海王門とか持って行ってしまったということになるので、ということは先々代のカリドラの前のあのクリスタルの選手のコアクリスタルが、なるほど、
something that would something that would depict my thought there and yes. um the reason being um we have the actually the sorry the reason why we casted the same uh voice actress for as venera for omachi is actually because of this um to kind of create for that who? connection did you trying to say mashiri i think so well, there's a little downtime here. I'll drop a bomb in the chat because I saw people talking about it earlier. I would hate a Kingdom Hearts collab. I'll let you guys fight in the chat about that. I would abhor that if they brought that in. That series needs oh, to die. No. Needs to die. It's done. Had its twilight. It's peaked. It's gone. Just, just let it be a memory. No reason to bring that back to any anyone's forefront of memory. I'll, I'll take it just for the music. Dearly beloved is like an all timer. So no, nope, that's that's what Spotify is for. Concerned, we actually don't have uh, too many, uh, too much of a plan to bring them back and bring Fair. them into the story. But uh, well, it is still open to possibilities, maybe. And um, as a bit of an untold setting, um, so I'm sure you're all familiar that uh, Liart runs the Whimsy Shop, and the setting behind it is that Baylo, Liart, and their child is running the shop together in peace. So Baylo would be the one procuring the items. I would and love Liart to be able be to visit that shop in the for, game. Um, for a bit of an inflated price. <laughs> or a little mini game around. To like shop. actually see it like rendered out. Yeah. yeah. In, that's a good answer. Because um, that's like super cute. It is cute. I like that. Vanilla and I totally Ariel? agree with you. I think so. And also Omachi. Omachi is very cute and stunning. I love her also. So thank you, Noguchi san. So let's look at our second questions. Um question is Ashes of the Apocalypse oh. is great so far. Is the Ashen King is source of the dark esper or was it someone like certain Sumner he met through the timeline and CV for the Dark Espa would be great. Who's a certain Summoner? Is that Dark Fina? Like a certain Summoner. Mm. Is he talking about? Are they talking about Dark Fina there? Mm. But she's not really a. She's not a Summoner. Were there Dark Espers in FFP? Um, no. I don't think so. It's actually a good lore question. They kind of, you're right. They just drop these like Dark Espers. So they're like, here. In another story, chapter thing. three, scene okay, four, uh, in one of the battles, the Ashen King Mont, in his narrative, he comments, um, in one of these worlds, I happened to, I happened to, upon a summoner who commanded the powers of many great espers. And this is actually a bit of a description about the dark esper world, so to speak. And this is also um, something that's illustrated in um, the flavor texts for the dark esper uh, vision cards. So uh, please do uh, have a look at hmm. them when you have time. I'm looking right now. <laughs> Wait, there's actual lore here? This is very interesting. I haven't read any of those dis those card descriptions. あの、戦うみたいな流れになっていってしまう。その後、あの、ま、世界を滅んでしまうみたいな感じのことになっていて、ま、そこに実は海王門ともいましたと。で、それはその出来事はモントにとっては人間に大きく絶望する要因の一つということで、今回あの描かさせていただきました。So simply put, um, the settings for for the world of the Dark Aspers is that um, a summoner would be a, would attempt to save the world that's destructing as it was nearing its the end of its lifespan, but mankind would fight over their powers for their own good, or that um, such powers of the summoner would be feared among mankind, who would uh, further spe speak ill of the, them, calling them the Dark Lord, which um, ultimately led the, the led the world into destruction after all. And um, this is something that this world, so to speak, is something that um, the that um, Ashen King Mont was also uh, living in. So that's essentially one of the sources of uh, despair in mankind that he had that we uh, that we witnessed in chapter three. Hmm. 
wonder if he'll have like a, a dark esper card that'd be dope yeah a couple people are pointing it out in chat there are some references there it's the same copy and paste paragraph but it talks about a dark lord that bestowed his powers before yeah, it was very interesting he died. to hear all these stories um <laughs> but i think that's it they repeated on all of them <laughs> oh, this was a check so far. <laughs> and I was very much, um, I, I would love to share more. Um, and um, I'm sure Nogich san would have wanted to speak more on this. Yeah, but I think it's really interesting. 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 So happy. Um, so it was great to be able to share so much, so much of the behind the scenes stories. But uh, and um, as um, another story, chapter three is um, heading towards its end. Um, we would we would like for all our audiences to uh, you know stay tuned and um, do um, you know watch through it until the end. So there, there was some cool nuggets there, but it, it took way too long. Yeah, we're already an hour in. That that took way too long. Too bad. I feel like there's something there with the Dark Espers. I really never considered that angle, but they, they absolutely have put some puzzle pieces there. That's cool. So, yes, once again, I would love for everyone to uh, um, keep their eyes um, posted for another story. But um, it's not just another story, but also the main scenario. It is probably, um, probably about midway through um, getting... Um, closer to the latter half so um that too i'm sure um everyone's getting um excited over and uh i would like for everyone to look forward to that interesting as well. did they just say they're halfway okay, done this concludes the section uh, yeah you, uh, it was <laughs> pretty Ooh. wrong section but thank you everybody for your uh, enoch in comments no i don't think it's gilgamesh they're stuff? referring to in amnos I, they call it the dark lord uh, and that they died Thank you. Apparently. Thank you. He he was the creator of the uh, the chaos espers or dark okay, espers. So yeah. I think everybody waiting too long for this. We will continue on to latest application information. Update yes, information. Let's get some news. Two. So Hiroki san, please take away. Part two. Hi. ということでね、あの、今回のえ、グローバルアップ so, for our Global Up 4th anniversary, we certainly have many events prepared. But before going into that, we actually prepared a special key visual for the Global Up 4th anniversary that we'd like to share with you. Take a look. Oh. Hi. Mm, stunning. Mm. I love it. That's a great picture. I need more art in the game. The art's so good in this game. I keep it coming. So this is the key visual. Hopefully this and becomes like that. Uh, the some for free the vision cards. Limit campaign we mentioned earlier, we will give away a PC wallpaper with it, with this group of Air Force anniversary key visual. Satya is looking good. I like it. I was going to say, I was trying to analyze the choices they picked. So, yeah, how is it? They kept the main cast on the left, but they didn't give all the warriors the same love. In Japan, April is the month for spring. So, gotta have the waifus in there. Used spring as Lucio and Mons are eating good there. Someone brought up a good question. It does kind of look like a wedding dress. For June, like June and Lucio wedding. Um, seeing uh, comments already. King um, Delita. I'm sure uh, it's um, very. Is nice this like a t is this a teaser uh, of the new June uh, unit? Very, you uh, think? Very happy to see that. Could it be? Key visual and, um, Could be. It's you know, springtime. It was well for us to spring create June this, or something. Uh, that's I don't the kind know. of response that we're getting from you. So uh, thank you. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't done yet uh, we do have something else coming up so let's look at the next one yeah please take a look take at a look this video oh here we go i like spring it's it is the breeze is like none other did i just call it spring unit moments of peace like these are meant to be enjoyed she looks awesome come now Spring wind dance is for you. That's exceptional. This will hurt. 
May this protect you. A springtime storm. Sword is massive. I love it. So awesome. I am glad she's still great sword to, to keep in line with the original unit. Yay. You cut it early. No, there's more. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> did it show the? Did they cut off before they showed the elements or anything? No, they showed water. I think. They showed water. They showed the water icon. It popped up halfway through. Okay. Yeah, efflorescent. I don't know if that's a word. Is it a word? anniversary celebration unit. June the spring celestial will appear worldwide starting April The spring celestial. Yeah, April fast. Yeah. April Fools. No. Oh no, efflorescent is a word. It, it's the actual and process. Assured, this is not an April Fool's. This is not an April Fool's. April Fool's. It is happening. <laughs> so supposedly she is a permanent pool unit from what we've seen in the data mine. Yeah. She has hard quests. So, so if you may recall the at least there's not the FOMO factor with Oldo and her, you know, potentially coming in the same time. You could hope to get Jim later if you want to. Next week. It's a good class to have a look at it. Sure. So then, Justin, can you share with us more details about her? Of course, I would be happy to. So let's. I would love to see this like ascend water to the top though. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we've got Joom, the Spring Celestial. He is a cost 100 UR, of course, water type unit. Her weapon type is a great sword, and her main job is Shining Blossom Blade. Hmm, Very that nice. AoE, Very that good. one we've had a lot of good, not a lot of good results uh, with. This job is a Vanguard Could she be a, ma a magic slasher? An ability that can attack up to two targets after removing their buffs, as well as one that can bestow courage while reducing magic damage, making it suited for both offense and defense. You guys hmm. saw her at Limit Burst in the video, but let's take a look at it again here. So her limit burst is spring time. It's like the Vega shape. It's very short range. Physical damage reduction for wider area attacks and lowers all elemental resistance for three turns of targets within range and then deals damage XL. See there? Lowers all element resistance. Love it. Very nice. Great for rainbow stuff. Yep. All right. We'll, let, we'll watch it again here so everybody it's can. It's a physical see aura. Here. Okay. Spring tide tempest. It's a physical aura, but it's All like right. the new mechanic for AOE size. Here. Is that what they said? We've got full blue. I didn't. I don't rare. recall that. This bestows magic damage reduction and raises unit attack resistance, and bestows debuff effect, uh, which courage removes ceiling for three turns to successful attacks of allies in the area around oh. four turns, and will survive fatal damage to self one time, and additional effect. Raises slash magic attack resistance and it lowers AP consumption while courage is in effect and recovers AP. <laughs> so there's a lot of <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, lot it's a it's a book buff. Rewind it if you have to. But we're gonna be moving on Rewind to the next it. ability here, which is <laughs> Ring Storm. This is also an EX ability. So this raises own slash resist piercing rate for three turns and lowers a set percentage of area attack resistance of targets within range for three turns. Then it's an a damage large a we crush and lowers magic attack resistance piercing rate and healing power for three turns yeah it sounds like a All single right. target ability a lot though. of information there. i know <laughs> it's a good ability uh, but we got a little but bit single more target to go ability. here okay so let's take a look here so next up uh we've got her vision card hmm. so this is going to be um available it's the free uh, card. It's going to be uh, yeah, seventy cost. Everybody here that you can see the shards will be distributed. So we've got the part ability here, which is critical damage up, and the party ability. God, that's a that's a really which pretty card though. Up and the bestowed effect. Free ho free hollow effects yeah. though. And the vision mastery is requests that mm. provides JP acquisition plus twenty five and slash attack plus three. <laughs> Yay. So, um, very good stuff there. Uh, as I mentioned, the vision card and all of the shards no, are distributed, I, so please look forward. They didn't say anything about hate, though, I don't think. Boxes upon logging I don't in. think she's a tank. Uh, yeah, they didn't. I didn't hear anything about chance of being targeted. That'd be very cool if it was a non-tank with an aura. I don't, we haven't seen that, to be fair. All tanks have had the aura. Her weapon here. 
No, I don't think so she's a tank, guys. The, the Nascent Greatsword. This is, of course, a... Oh, I love it when they no. buff the old um, jobs. Provide defense piercing rate up. Yes. And the limited love it. additional abilities for Joom the Spring Celestial. Joom, a okay, yeah, so she's got the magic Soldier damage reduction. She also gives additional provides magic reduction on the buff. Magic damage reduction when HP is 70% or above. So, yeah. Some very good information there yeah Kason's gonna be very happy weapon. new greatsword user um, 100 percent thing here that we wanted <laughs> to cover so we've got the training campaigns this is for june um you can see the information here on the screen ferris has an aura but it's not a physical it's, it's an aura period. but it's a um june is going to be half acquisition time how would you describe a ferris yeah, aura time period um june the Fer ferris it's a, it's is a, it's, a, it's a sequence it's not really an aura general, it's right? yeah it's, it's just a sequence yeah. ability yeah and then yeah. finally here we've got june the spring celestial unit hard she has two of them she has the heal and the buff right 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 so right a lot of shards to be or is something that's just like permanently around you as you move around and or ferris does that. not have that so yes right. that is june the spring celestial very cool i'm Thank excited you, Thank you. she looks she looks great you know what it's cool yeah, too from the perspective that those that don't have summer glass you now have another water option for physical so i realized justin just went over quite a lot of, a lot of information there but i actually heard nanami has something up her sleeve uh today too yes mm -hmm. something That's else right today i would like to share the design draft of jim the spring celestial which is not even in the art book Oh. Ooh. And um, Hiroki-san, can you share with us the concept behind the production of the Jume in Spring Celestial? Hi. So this ne, ano global ban no ninki tokyo ichii ni erabareta unit desu nonde. Art book ma, part three. Ne, awasete haru no otozure de ma yoki ga yoki na sono haru no yoki ga. I'll keep buying them. I have one and two right here behind me. Buke. Ata ma prayer to ma oiwai to tansha no kimochi wakiau mita na koto o tema ni shite. Yeah, I don't know if I call her a so bruiser unit. So, this unit was the winner of the we'll um, unit popularity poll for the global uh, like version. Like, with, with more, today. like, dispels, and, um, like, that have been coming into the meta, like, with, I have... Uh, this time of the year when spring is on, is on its way. More so, and more uh, been wanting to take to shawls out. Spring's arrival with so, a like, backdrop as well as a, a throw her into the great sword team could be good. Yep. Triple bruiser. Yep, so as a veteran warrior she usually has this very cool and stoic uh, um, composure but um, we wanted to show a bit of a gentle side to her I agree Thunder Mage Thunder so I did notice in the in uh, some of the comments that uh, you know some folks were saying uh, Jim is smiling, and so um, this is that's exactly something that we wanted to show um, with a bit of a gentle and um, more cheerful uh, you know, side of her. Mm, thank you, I like thank it. you, Yorksan. Jim says it spring celestial global. Hopefully, global. she gets a a card too. <laughs> Spring Celestial Global Like a real card? She would have to, I would think. Just next week, we just wouldn't get it. Although, with Oberyn, they did announce his card a week ahead of time. I don't know. Next, let's talk about the campaign for our post-anniversary. Not only do we have an anniversary unit, but we also have a lot of campaigns stored. Hi. Yeah, it's yeah, we don't have enough info. We need to know her stuff drops too before we really make any deep dives on. Yeah, so anything. again, I'm seeing a lot of comments saying that um, they're very it's, happy. Uh, to see I think Jim it's Viking and, uh, and you know, Trick Lancer. Seeing that uh, oh, you... again, it was very much okay. worthwhile for us to uh, create her. So um, uh, thank you very much for the feedback. Hi, to you again. The campaign no shokai o shite to omimas. Global mo ne, yon shou ne o mukaete, mina san ye no higoro no kansha o komete, mazu futatsu no medama campaign o o shokai shite to omimas. So yes, let's move right on to the campaigns. Um, I always love so to see Trick Lancer, as though, the as a job. App, uh, Max, uh, marks its fourth anniversary. I do too. But Sorry, it, yeah, the interpretation is a little bit... Um, <laughs> it's a good one. A one of the best ones. Pardon me. <laughs> <That's>, sorry. <laughs> no, so, the, so the Viking sub-job blows. Its first, <laughs> but the Trick Lancer is actually it's very good. Appreciation. We, I want to first um, talk about the two featured campaigns. Hi. Uh, 
まず一つ目はですね、4周年記念大還元祭と。So the first item on the list is the fourth anniversary give back festival. はい。というわけで,ですね、アプリリリースの開始から、えー、4月の9日まで、今度の4月の9日までですね、次の4月の9日まで、で、ショップで、Hopefully, these are the same as like the last round that we got. Wait a minute. No, this is this sounds different. Why is the range March 25th? Are they saying the Viz spend the shops during this period is what will give you the tickets? So, this is a no, 2020, though. Where, that's, that's the、um, for every launch date. Thousand Vizier that you have spent at the shop <laughs> during the period from the release of this app until April 9th, we will distribute. We will distribute Distribute. That first year of the game, where I was blowing Viz in the shop、okay, left and right. So, I got to. Vizier that you have spent in the shop. I definitely not as much the last couple of years, but there's a lot of things to exchange nowadays. The mod medals that you don't need. We have the fourth anniversary special. Oh, and we're getting a bunch of. Summons. 400 summons here. That's pretty、はい、hype, too. Definitely nice. So, we love these as veterans to get us the reincarnation mind spheres. Yes. Mog spheres to the、uh, Mog shop. Oh, yeah. It just makes future units cheaper to acquire. So, first, we actually have a 10 UR guaranteed one time only free 100 times summon. Oh, that's pretty sick, too. And this will be available from April 1st through the end of the month, April 30th.、はいね、I like that. I, I mean, next, there's, there's two vision cards. Was this, was this like part of that 400 or is this an addition? I think addition. So, next part of it is that、um, you get a free 10 times summon once a day. Every day for 30 days, which yeah, we're going to be raining, raining summons. Okay, so this、uh, is not a, uh, yeah, 300 summons from this, 100 summons from the other. That's a lot. This too, yeah, on top of the, the, the tickets the from the shop the that we'll get in a few weeks. Yeah, new players is going to be tough, but I'll be honest, still, at the end of the day, it's, it's a guaranteed 10. And even for these pulls, if you start picking up espers randomly and stuff, like, I think it's still valuable for new players. What else, what else could you give new players?、Um, you know. <laughs> it's valuable for everyone. I don't know. So you get the 300 summons from、um, the daily free time. Can't objectively say otherwise. And、um, on top of that, you get that one time only 100 summon with、um, the. Uh, 10, UR, uh, 10 UR guarantees, which gives you a total of 400. Now, the Mina Sane, Zeki, Gonoka, was the Naku, Mo, Shokan, Master, Shokan, or Zeki, stay Kudasai. So, um, just a reminder that everyone will be logging in every day, just and make sure you don't, you don't forget to、uh, pull the summons. I would say this is actually、uh, nice, it does kind of force people、uh, to at least log in once. There's someone to be said about、uh, and as far as the rest of the campaigns are concerned, there's still a lot going on. So let's、in. have Justin take that away. Oh, well,、uh, all right then. Let's take a look here. So, next up, we've got the fourth anniversary login bonus. This is going to be available. For oh, they're、April、alternating、first. between the two、so、of them for shards. You'll be able to log in during the event. That's good. Sometimes we haven't gotten shards for both units on, on double unit weeks in the past. So, yep. that's good. Players can get a 10 times summon ticket on the first day of the login bonus period. This summon ticket can be used for June Spring Celestial、uh, featured. Got some arena pots there too. Use that first before you do anything else. Sweet deal.、Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of other stuff. There's a lot of shards. You see old Doa shards in there as well.、Um, some Vizior and some、uh, Visagenic. Not a Visagenic antler.、Uh, scroll of Vicissitude. That's what I meant to say. Anyway. Moving you got it, Justin. Don't worry. We don't know what it's called either.、Uh, we've got yeah. the other campaigns、Just、that are going to be called. Calling the scrolls of vasectomy like Dijin. I never heard that. That's great. Celebrate the release of Strategist Old Doa and the training. Oh, these titles look cool. Look at these. Limited, oh, limited arena. Nice.、Um, unit, Ooh. Uh, unit hard quest item drop quadruple campaign. All right, we'll go in for a limited arena. Right. Shards to be had there.、Uh, and the Strategist Old Doa. In June, the Spring Celestial Barracks Unit Shard Acquisition Halftime Campaign. They'll get both of those units into the barracks 
Is it the one where we get like 15 um, attempts a day like that other one? Arena coming up. Be able to mock battle from the, uh, 15th, Not sure. 16th it sounds kind of like it. It's the, the same format. They gave you two days to mock. And then... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the same format, so I think it is. That's actually very cool. All right. So yes, that is. I actually really liked that uh, limited arena. Me too. So Me too. To I wouldn't in, want it every week, but once in a while, as a nice Thank elemental you. strategy or uh, Thank you, Justin. a strategic strategy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Well, that's a nice wrinkle <laughs> 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 to arena. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Again, um, I like the fact that a lot of things were going on in this uh, illustration. So um, for the for more detailed look in this illustration and also the comments, uh, again, please check out the dedicated website. Okay, thank you and congratulations for Miko san And here are the Stendhal design winners. Exactly, King the Lady, the yin and yang, like it's perfect. Yeah. It's literally exactly what they were going for. Yeah, yeah this Purine one is amazing. <laughs> Uh, Obi, Obi, Obi -san. They're all very good. They're all very good. Yeah, I don't know. Y2L yeah. san no ijo. Gomen, ninarimasu. Omedo so the five winners of the standout design are Oatachi, Iwakofu, Outering Rising, um, Ovenix, and Y2L. Uh, once again, congratulations. Hi. Ne, kore mo ne, ko. <laughs> so this comment's cacky. This dude asking for the P5 collab. To be fair, he's not wrong. Like, but like, when? Like, it really should be run, but like. <laughs> Again, um, the, um, the winners are not just from Japan. We'll, we'll know about from, it a month um, in advance before the, it gets uh, here. Users from around the world too. So, um, if, again, it, um, if it ever comes. To, to be fair, it's not going to matter. They're not going to get It's going to be 2B and 9S. It's, it's going to be like, all right, thanks for trying. And it's, it's they're still bad. it's interesting to see that so. um, how there's uh, different art styles or uh, different uh, feels to it. So. あの、イラストを作ってくださったので、本当にありがとうございました。改めてまたお礼を言わせていただきたいと思います。And um again, there were um many more than this that have been entered yeah, into the competition. Yeah, but then they could release so Futaba again, and Thank you very much for your participation. Who else? Mm, thank you. Ryuji. Ryuji is good. One. The Although no, they would go with the villain. What's his name? The about, uh, there were many more really great illustrations as well. Oh, so today Aru? in this live stream, we would like so, to showcase what other illustrations were submitted. I think it's Haru. Among the illustrations no, submitted no, no, by no, no, our uh, global players, the, ant the antithesis to the main character. And Justin and I would like to share our personal favorite. He's got two. Favorite. Odin is this one of his personas. That we are just going Goro, to share the I can't illustration you. we like. Personally, oh, so girl. there will be no Because think that when they bring a collab around, they often bring in a villain. Favorite. Or, you know, like, like Safer is coming in for eight and Kefka for six. Oh, we got to have Anne Taka, Takamaki. Bro, oh. Anne would break She'd be like, Thank you, and this yeah. is my favorite. <laughs> Primo waifu theme, material for this game. I think. Yes. Um, the theme, theme was Phoebe. I think it, Phoebe. So it immediately caught my eye because... Um, they, Got like the uh, call to the time magic on there. This is actually a sick little piece of art. Game since release, it was pretty um, old unit, I think. It's very and like the um, touch is very soft because it is watercolor paint, like tarot paint card oh, look, looking. If you didn't say it, I was gonna. That's the word. It is 100. <laughs> percent It's like a priestess card from like. Because uh, it has healing yeah. element. I also got impression of Pini, BB in a trance from her facial expression. <laughs> Sorry, I also felt a lot of love for the fact that they painted their restoration in traditional way. And while most of of the illustration are digitally created, created and detail of of covering her outfit and clocks, I think, in the background blew me away. <laughs> I, like, I quite like the fact that um, it's not just the illustration proper, but also the painting palette that we see in the background too. Like the fact that this um, this um, scape, so to speak, in like the the whole entire the entirety of this picture in itself is a, a work of its own. So um, that's something that I quite you know, admire as well. Yeah, right. I think Phoebe dies before. So, yeah, thank you, Nana. She dies in the first chapter, like, near immediately. And uh, let's get on to sharing what about my personal favorite was. Hi. Baylo in the art. That's low key amazing. So, it only just happened that uh, this was also like a bit of a hand drawn. Uh, um, uh, drawing, but uh, it's a perfect. Yeah, we, you know, we see this uh, these two in the in the photo. I wish we could get like a closer close up look at it. No, 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 no,
His cell phone? No kidding. He hold, he's got a meat pie in his hand. <laughs> Are you so, eating? Um, if you recall um, earlier when Noguchi san was talking yeah. about uh, Belo and Liart, um, you know, this it feels like this is a bit of a depiction of what may have happened, um, you know, um, afterwards. So, um, yeah, it was um, it was very good to see this. The night that the baby was conceived? <laughs> She's whispering in his ear. Man. He's like, <laughs> there's more, there's more meat pies where that came from. <laughs> Bro, this is a good meme template. This could be a meme template. I could see it. Fill in the words what she's saying. Like, you could make it that she's whispering in his ear. Yeah. So again, in um, in what Nobuguchi san was uh, speaking earlier, um, it was mentioned that uh, we won't be um, depicting too much of them in the in the scenario going forward. However, that might mean that um, there's not enough action going around them in that they're you know living their life uh, happily ever after in, in peace. So maybe because there's not that much drama going on, perhaps that's the reason why um, it, there's not much to depict about them. <laughs> So uh, it was great. It was great to see them um, being illustrated this, in this regard. Alright. So Justin, what? And what is it? So then, having said, uh, Justin, how about your personal favorite? All right. <sighs> let's see here. Um, yeah. Let's take a look. I'm ready so to keep this going. This is the one that I picked after you know looking at. Oh, all it's like a vision card. Um, that is a, that is a good one. I think it's very nice. You know, I think the artist here. Um, made a very complex piece of art it's the selection quest unit's on the right no, i'm not gonna say it's easy it's <laughs> oh, a lot more difficult to draw it is a lot of yeah these characters and then the war is the crystal on the left doing a lot of different i'll give it to him that's good um, so i i just wanted to commend the artist for um really stepping out there and doing something very complex and doing something very big um i think it's very nice that everybody is sort of um being you know in the in the art at the same time um, and everybody's just sort of hanging out together, and you've got some, a lot of Final Fantasy sort of themes going on here as well. Anyway, um, I can't say anything quite as profound or nice as the other two have said. But anyway, I just wanted to commend the artist um, for taking on <laughs> such a challenging piece of art and really stepping out there and uh, trying their best to make something that is very nice. So I wanted to give props to the artist. I like that. But yes, thank you very much for submitting. Would you like to see a Moogle unit in, in War of the Visions? They purposely have kind of like not done like any non-humanoid or like kind of like beast kind of characters. I don't prefer it, but I would be yeah, against it. If they released it, I'd say, okay, know, each of the characters are standing unit, out on its I don't own. Want and, it. You know what I mean? You know, it's all, it How almost kind of gives you the impression that it's uh, it's kind of like, you know, I don't need it either. Like, I like, so, I've, yeah, I really like nice. Mog from FF6. So if it was like FF6 Mog, I'd be all about it. But just like a generic Moogle, I don't know if I need to see it. Right, they're just NPCs. Like, I'm not really, I have no affinity to them. ね、あの、あの、yeah, but Slime was like a free add-on, 50 cost, like... To be fair, they can do the same with the Moogle. I'm just thinking more from like a banner perspective. I wouldn't want a Moogle on a banner. That's, that's more what I'm yeah, so factually speaking, there were quite a lot of submissions from our global players alone and, um, you know, ranging from hand-drawn to more digital. Um, from each and every one of them, we felt the love for our World of the Vision. So again, I'm very grateful that, um, and as a matter of fact, um, we're grateful that some people even submitted uh, multiple um, illustrations too. So again, I can't thank everyone enough. Mm, we can't thank you enough for submitting the illustration, everyone. So thank you for your continued support. So that's wrap up for the post anniversary design contest segment. So now let's move on to the next segment. And I don't know if it's just me, but I'm in a bit of creation mode, <laughs> mood from seeing all of all of those amazing mm. restorations. Don't you agree, Yurikisan? <laughs> Oh my god, are they going to do the drawing thing again? I'm going to bed if they do. 
Well, um, yes, of course. Um, and um, as a matter of fact, I remember you and I did a mini game involving drawings, uh, um, in a previous live stream. And um, you know, but I still King, remember King your Saber drawing abilities from back then. A right? lot of the live stream so, stuff I mean, is you guys like remember too, right? relatively older content or like uh, character so I'm oriented to stuff. Show my drawing chops Would have been nice if they did what we did with like the year in review, if you know what I mean. For everyone. There's um, not that I, this is certainly still nice. <laughs> But I would have liked them just to like give a nod to the global units here and like so give this is actually an opportunity for Esther and Sylvie uh, limit burst to, upgrades um, you know, and um, earn an item still good. It's still good. True. Yes. Who is but the wolf? Does everyone know what a werewolf game is? Yes. Does everybody know what a werewolf game is? Um. What? Maybe not. I wasn't too familiar with it by name, so <laughs> please allow me the opportunity. I did not know what a werewolf game is. Pretty briefly, um, just so you guys can get the idea and see what we're going to be doing here. Uh, so, first of all, uh, werewolf is a game to identify who the wolf is among the villagers. So one of us three, Hiroki-san, Nanami-san, or me, will be the wolf, and we will draw a picture, and everybody will try to figure out which one of us three is the wolf so those who are not the wolf those who are not the wolf are normal villagers who will perform the tasks of completing a drawing and um, there are going to be three envelopes with information on what to draw one of these envelopes uh, please keep it short and sweet the information <laughs> on what to draw the other I one think is I've blank. Seen so this two of the envelopes have information on what to draw and it's a good drinking game going to be blank. so in other words the person who draws a blank piece of paper is the wolf and must draw a picture without letting others know that they are the wolf. Yeah, Githro, it's a party game. I've, I've done this as a drinking yet, game. So people yeah. don't make any guesses yet. Anyway, so after picking an envelope one by one and confirming what is inside, the three of us will take turns drawing one stroke at a time on a whiteboard on the screen to complete the drawing. Uh, once all three of us have taken some turns to draw our stroke, it will be counted as one round, and we will have two rounds to complete the drawing. So we'll draw once, that's the end of a round. We'll draw again. That's the end of the second round. This is at least going a little smoother than the yeah, last everybody's game. Everybody's goal is to figure out who the wolf is. Are, last one's just painful. You know, going to be pretending to know what to draw. It really was. The other two, but they actually have no idea what it is. So that's the idea of the game. Yeah, I hope everybody <laughs> understands the game. Hiroki seems like such a happy we guy. Will play this game once. I would love to meet him in real life. Everyone. He's like in happy grandpa mode. If you figure out who is a wolf is. Mm. <laughs> I'll be honest, I still don't really understand the rules fully. I'm just going to roll with it. So it's not just our drawing abilities, but perhaps our acting ability if we made that. Yeah, I was disappointed I wasn't able to go in, um, to that um, in, uh, in fan game. meetup last year. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's definitely. True. It was just because, like, actually, I got the invitation to go, but it was just like so, so that no one figures out short notice people. that I just so we'll wasn't willing to spend that much money on plane um, tickets so at that point. No, it was plane ticket. It's hotel. It's still like food and accommodation. Like oh, that's not a cheap flight. I have, so yeah, or cheap stay. I have one to three. Would have been cool to meet uh, these the guys and meet Orange A and stuff. I would love that. I, I mean, I, I know um, we're not um. A huge uh, I'm gonna pick number three. content creator community per se in terms of like uh, interaction with with Square right. Enix, but you yes, know I know like Blizzard does it. They have like content creator stuff, two. and not that I'd expect to have three, them like pay it us to go, <laughs> but a formal invitation would be kind of dope to say like, hey, we like personally reached out. We'd like you to be there. You know what I mean? And like try to coordinate something. So I'm gonna be two. Yeah, hopefully they do it again. Yeah, it was in California. So, um, Southern California, you saw that right, Justin chose California. number three, um, which um, our uh, yeah, no staff way. member is uh, relaying information about what's inside the envelope yes. um, to Justin as we speak, so that he knows whether if he's it or not. <laughs> I know you mean get through. So I think it's a good we're doing idea. This just... for real. No one knows what's inside the con what's inside the envelope in advance. So um <laughs> and execution I don't know. the information has been relayed over to just there's there's Okay. I've had somebody so, explain it to me, but there there's like some Okay. 
Japanese like custom of like kind of like almost humiliating yourself in front of the audience. That sounds familiar. And I think this is like kind of part of that. Okay. It's a cultural thing. It's definitely a cultural thing. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So I don't hate it. It's just, just ready? this is more of yeah, a hangout than a news announcement. So which we will draw it's supposed to be. It's, a, on the it's just a hangout, you know. We choose, starting yeah. with the person who envelope number one. I think Hyoki san. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we will have to return to draw. So everyone make sure to pay close attention to our every move to figure out who is the big bad wolf is. So I think Hiroki and me. They might do meetups, King Delita. I hope they do. So yes, I will. Can do you that. stop? Can you stop <laughs> to draw? All right, so hopefully it shows up here on the screen here in a moment. Mm -hmm. Hiroki's first here. Okay, I'll pass. Yeah, I'll write the. Uh... <laughs> okay. Ah, これね、今ね、あれなの、あの。Yeah, Jim and Aldoa can definitely go to together. Us, um, if you got the ice water cards uh, plus <laughs> Black Mage and Greatsword actually have several okay. cards they share too. Done? Also true. Yeah, that. I'm done. Okay. So that's my turn. I think I can do <laughs> better than last time. Uh... Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh. There's a delay. Oh, okay, okay. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's a flower. Okay. okay. So Justin, your turn now. Um. Okay. Here, let me think. Oh. <laughs> Marco's calling it. Oh, Justin is the draw. wolf. Okay. Let yeah, this is just, yeah, just took a turn. Okay. Nice. Is that a mouth? <laughs> so second turn again. Are they they're trying to draw a Moogle here? One draw, one draw. One stroke. One stroke. Mm. Like everybody, no idea what's okay. going on. <laughs> Pick me and collab. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if it's okay, a okay. Moogle. We have a delay, so we have yeah. to wait one moment. Oh man! Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what should I write? Uh... If okay, I think it's clicking now. I think they all got a word or something on a card, except for the wolf. He got something different. And so, since they're going in order, the two people will know that the wolf is drawing something different than what they have on the card. So it's up to us to see. Gotcha. Yeah. What's up, Marco or Sasuke? Uh, enjoying the stream. Yes, I am. I. And, uh, Not expecting big yeah, things. Nanami we know roughly is, uh, what it's about. Uh, doing her there are things right I could now. do to make, you know, we would like to see to make it a little faster, maybe a little streamlined. But all things we're, we're having fun, yeah. having fun hanging out. Exactly. Oh, I would have if, if I was watching this on my own. I probably would have tuned out by now. I would. I'd be in bed right now. Right. If I wasn't live streaming, I'd be in bed, guys. Like that's what. Yeah. I'm seeing that uh, there's some do you need predictions to go? coming from you need our to go to sooner rather than later. I'll hold out a little while. Hope, hoping to see the roadmap before we sign off. But who knows? Yeah. Hopefully, this is just oh, one round no, of, no, no. of this. If this is second round, I'm sorry, guys. No. See you. <laughs> oh. Oh, Marco is Sasaki. Hey, what's up, man? I know him from my live PvP server. Oh, nice. Predictions coming from our uh, players. Okay, oh. here we go. It's loading oh. now. <laughs> so Nanami is clearly the wolf. She's she's drawing <laughs> some kind of flower oh. thing. Is it supposed Are to be Jum? <laughs> are they drawing Jum? <laughs> they are. Mm. Mm. 
This is going to be her in-game artwork, guys. I'm seeing a lot of uh, folks uh, <laughs> mentioning Mogul, but um, you know, when, when you think about it, Mogul doesn't exactly have um, this much uh, hair, right? <laughs> Hiroki's the wolf, we're calling it. Well, maybe okay. she's just making up a bunch of stuff because she is, in fact, a wolf. Who knows? Nope. <laughs> the going crazy here now. I mean, okay, it is a single stroke. She hasn't, uh, you know, she she hasn't uh, taken her finger off the mouse. So I mean, it is. One, Crash, did they say that there was a collab announcement? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, I think I saw that. I, I saw no collab announcement. Mm. Did it finish? Okay. finish? Yeah, we finished. Okay. okay. JP so is probably due for one. Yeah, it just seems town. Yeah. It's got to be sixteen or twelve. Uh, if it was a numbered title oh. in Final Fantasy. A lot, of, a lot of people say like June. It's not gonna oh, happen. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it was Zoom for like two seconds. I don't know what Zoom this is. Isn't I don't that either. Mm. <laughs> no, the thing with the collab is that we're still technically in the collab. We're still in mm. 13's collab, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the fact that JP is mm. roughly a month ahead of us. We're probably like a week or two away from a collab, but it's not announced for us. It's announced for JP. Oh, won't you, man? Mm, 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 mm. Right, Kaiser's yeah, got I mean, it. Collabs are only on JP's streams. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh. We still got like several weeks left of 13. Yeah. We haven't oh, even no, gotten the trial no. yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> that should be next week. Do we even have a monster that looks like the subtle? Really? All right. Okay. okay. Maybe Justin's the wolf. Uh, okay, so one of us is a wolf who didn't know what we are supposed to draw. So what do you think of this is? So please answer the poll in the chat. I think it's going to be... Yeah, it's got to be Justin. Up. Yeah, there's going to be a survey that pops up on YouTube. So um, you can vote on that when it pops up. It might I'm not... I don't know if it'll be on Twitch or not. We'll see. This is for a thousand viz, guys. Don't get it wrong. <laughs> so just a reminder that um, so out of the three of us, um, two two of us knew what we were drawing. One of us didn't. And you need to guess who <laughs> didn't know what was going on. No worries, man. That, it was kind of just like a spur of the moment idea just to kind of get on and do a live stream. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying hanging out. It's made it more fun for me, too. Yeah, same. Um, I voted for somebody else. Am I allowed to do that? Hmm. <laughs> this, this is the global <laughs> global Gilgamesh <laughs> that I wrote in the chat. This is what Gilgamesh looks like <laughs> under the mask. Is that uh, what they're I've saying? I've been looking for comment. Maybe Justin. Your mm. yours answer is Justin. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Nanami. <laughs> so we're we're hoping for the the four thousand four hundred and forty four viz again this time. So. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay. We just gotta okay. wait for it to finish here before we. It finished. I think it's finished. Mm -hmm. Oh, it did. It finished. Everybody voted for Justin. Forty-nine percent for Justin. I thought Justin was fine Justin up until that last turn. I don't know what those <laughs> blue lines are. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, are you actually a wolf, Justin? No. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I am not. Okay. So Hiroki? So that means that either myself, Hiroki, or Nanami was the one who was clueless as to what was going on. And J Justin's so drawing skills really failed us. Right, what so even was it? Is the wolf, so <laughs> no idea. The card and chose again, so... I think the poll will pop up. No, so can we just wait for it. do the roadmap and go to bed? <laughs> 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 uh, so it seems like we've got the poll back up again. <laughs> it's got to be Nanami. 
Because she drew the um, one flower first, and then she drew, the like, the rest of the flowers after. So, At least Hiroki drew a face. He's the one that started so with the circle. You see that, and then he drew the eyes. You know, so we had... So looking at... Um, some yeah. Because yeah. Justin drew a mouth. There was clearly a you know, face that was supposed one of, to be So, there. again, one of us were drawing without a clue, and... I mean, you know, there was someone who but was what drawing the heck was he drawing with the blue doing. at the end? <laughs> no idea. But he only drew. That's like, what threw everyone eyes? off. I think he was he like, trying he to draw says... arms there. That <laughs> 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 But you do realize that, you know, what was seemingly like a mogul, um, you know, someone, a particular someone was drawing a lot of hair on them, right? So I wonder what that may be. <laughs> uh, we should look at the 1K regardless. But yeah, um, who knows who Even if we get it wrong again. Clueless as to what they were drawing. <laughs> That's how these live streams go. Always. Mm. Oh, that poem is but they got to make us suffer for it. The... One thing, Hiroki is a wolf. So are you actually that wolf, Hiroki? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They guess Hiroki. Yeah. <laughs> I'm old. I'm oh. old. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did I guessed the Nami actually, so my envelope is nothing. But anyway. So what the heck was I just enjoying? So what exactly was that? Oh, okay, she's asking. It was Omachi <laughs> from another story. Um I'm showing. Then they are no Nanda Sapari or Anna Tonagido. I had I, uh, right. Hiroki actually had no Don't idea you? what he was actually supposed to be, but oh, Justin was drawing <laughs> drawing whiskers. Oh, oh my okay. God, he Justin! Is <laughs> that another, another story? His drawing is so bad. Oh 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 oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> Apologies for the technical difficulty right there, but um, well, it, it just shows that we were going live, so um, yeah. 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 Oh, uh, Makes sense. So though. again, I was very much clueless as to what you I was what? actually supposed to I draw. Like so I like that game a lot more now. I that... drew a generic circle, but I actually, but then I guess that turned out to be something that was um okay. <laughs> Hiroki did a good job of disguising it. Great job, because oh, Justin drew the mouth, right? So Hiroki and, um, just like, all right, I'll add eyes. Who it was. <laughs> well Congratulations. Done. Well done. Um, I would like to defend myself here. Um, I drew a... Okay, so Hiroki drew a circle. Mm -hmm. I thought mm -hmm. for sure that was uh, Ochu. I thought mm -hmm. Nanami was the wolf when Hiroki mm -hmm. drew the circle. Um, oh. But I drew... I drew the whiskers like mm -hmm. people are uh, saying i can't draw but the whiskers are very 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 clear it's obvious that i knew what i was doing <laughs> the mouth was good the mouth was good <laughs> the whiskers need need some need some work <laughs> but because you can only I think the color you, you can only do one stroke I can see it. Oh, you, you can't like lift up? No. Okay. So Justin was trying to I retrace his way down. Or I get it. That's super fun. <laughs> so I, I would have like just re reinforced the circle yeah. and then just so that it wasn't like true. covering the face. But then when you think about it, Justin, um, um, you know, everyone was doubting that, um, you know, everyone was thinking that uh, Justin, you were the wolf initially. So. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So everybody, you're amazing. Since everybody was successful in figuring out who is the wolf is, the player will be rewarded with 100 with your... 1,000. 1,000. 1,000 with your... Nami, the Nami is trying to short change us, guys. So <laughs> lastly, let's talk about the Roma moving forward. She's yeah. a company Roma girl. Right. <laughs> she said 100 and I had a moment where I was like, really? We did that for 100 years? そして、え、グローバルアップ 4周年関連情報とキャンペーン発表させていただきましたが、え、もう少し先の予定も気になるというプレイヤーの皆さんも多いと思っています。So yes, for sure, Nanami. Um, 
So in the Slipper stream um, up until now, we've covered a lot of news and campaigns related to the fourth anniversary of the global lap. And, um, but still, I believe many of the players are wondering what's to come um, after that. So um, as you can see, we have, we would like to share our roadmap for April. Okay. No surprises. We, we kind of knew this. And so, yes, what you're seeing is the roadmap for April. So, so you this will is see that the units that we have introduced to, um, yeah. during the stream will be appearing in the first Volk, week of April. Right. Volk, yeah. Fourth week is... And um, you'll also see that um, in uh, weeks three no. and four, we will have an additional unit coming up as well. We don't know then. Yeah, we don't know. And um, as far as when the DLCs will be coming in, um, April 1st, the mon uh, that's the only uh, time that we will have an update coming on a Monday. Right. Oh, oh, and thereafter, following, um, so in weeks two, three, and okay. four, um, the updates will be happening on Wednesdays. So please make note of that. Hi. Right. Okay. I mean, that fourth week could be Earth Veritas, but... So thank you, Hiroki, and I, I am very excited. For I don't know who April else it would be. Month. There's no and other unit released. No. So we were nearing the end of the stream. But he's but not a gotcha um, unit, but... Of course, you haven't forgotten about you. guess know they could what, announce it anyway. Intriguing. We'll know in a couple days. Right? Because they would... Oh, oh no. We might... Oh, I don't know. Uh, so, of course, I haven't forgotten. Um, and so now I would like to talk about the details of the live stream present that um, all of you have been waiting for. Please take a look. There we go. Hi. I need those skip tickets. Like no one's business. Oh, I need them too, man. I'm running low. Need the cubes. The cubes. So the um, twenty the vision spheres. I know people definitely need some of those. Does include the mini game rewards. So the additional. So the one thousand vision. I'm glad we're getting a lump gift, and we don't have to like choose the stupid rewards or the tickets. Those ones are terrible. We do. One of those tickets is select. Oh, there's more. And um, of course, to commemorate the fourth um anniversary, um, we have uh, prepared for you four thousand four hundred forty-four vision. まあ、これ、あの、ここにある、アップデートナンバー<笑> Just give us 175. Yeah, That's not even close. Cool. Thank you That's very so much, bad. Son. For the yeah. rewards. <laughs> okay, we are also running a special viewership campaign for this live stream. If the total number of views of the live stream is archived, exceed 5,000 as of March 31st, all players will be awarded with the Global Act Force Anniversary PC wallpaper. So we urge everyone who is watching this live stream to share the live stream. That's a really nice piece of art. Friend. Yeah, I'll, that's the kind of that I'll. I know the more I look at it, the, the more I'll appreciate it. And also, in addition, uh, the Global Up Fourth Anniversary Countdown campaign is happening on our uh, social media. Good stuff, man. So, Oldoa and Jum coming in on Monday. We'll see how lucky we are with the polls. It doesn't seem like Jum is getting a card. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, just the free PVE card. This is the end of the live stream for today. Bro, I want the towel. Give me the towel. Tapestry? You got a curtain there? So the tapestry I've already seen, but the towel I didn't see. That's very... This is the end of the live stream for today. Um, thank you for seeing our live... Fourth anniversary live stream it was pretty long. It, it almost two hours. Yeah. So thank you yeah. for your... Um, thank you for... To see 
Yeah, a little bit too long. Um, you, uh, live stream today, and I hope uh, it's gonna be fifth or sixth. They tried though. They tried to do a little, a little something there. It was just FFB, so not well choreographed. I can't even say it's too long. I think it's Justin, the pace, like the the amount of time for sure. the what we got. Um, give a like, um, you're talking 45 seconds to a minute and a half for a question and answer. Like here, the whole exchange. But, um, I just, just wanted to say thank you everybody for tuning while. in today and watching our live stream. Um, it's kind of weird and it's kind of great that it's been four of these already. Yeah, they could have um, showcased the units a little bit better. Maybe? I'm not sure. I, I, I can't <laughs> do math right now. Anyway, That's um, it. it's been several of these already. So thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in today. Um, and thank you, everybody, that continues to be a part of the community. Um, as you know, I'm the community manager, so I see a lot of details and information and stuff that is posted. Um, so Thank you, Justin. You know, a while back, thank we Justin. had the... Uh, awards that we gave out to the pillars of support and stuff like that that's um, us so thank you very much to everybody <laughs> on, on that side that continues to make videos and continues to make this game a better place also i just wanted to give just a quick shout out you know to a lot of other people that are within the community that are giving their best and spending their time enriching the game you know the people that are running discords and uh, making youtube videos and that are on the reddit and just everything that everybody is doing to share information and give everybody else a better time. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, we appreciate it on our end. So yeah, that's all. Happy fourth anniversary. Look forward to June. Look forward to Aldoa. And thank you very much. Thank you, Justine. Hi. And uh, last but and uh, lastly from myself. Hi. あの、本当にね、あの、ま、え、ボアブドビジョンズ 4周年迎えることができました。本当にこれはね、プレイヤーの皆さんのおかげです。ありがとうございます。so um to think yes, that we're thanks for coming in man have, uh, reached this fourth this anniversary fun. um is again this is all because of um definitely ready for bed though our players, oh yeah so oh, thank yeah. you once again <laughs> so i figured we'll, we'll recap <laughs> for a minute after this コメントもいろいろ、ね、あの、もっとね、こうご意見もありますし、まあそういったね、皆さんの声が、え、我々のこのゲームをね、I agree, get, get here. They could definitely streamline it quite a bit. Definitely get through it. Yeah. And um, even from this live stream alone, um, we've been receiving many comments, may it be warmer regards or uh, feedback. And it's those comments that will. That thanks, is, Zeno. Um, thanks for, so like thanks for coming out with us. Said, um, enriching the, this um, uh, app to uh, make it further, make it even better. So um, once again, thank you so much for it. あと新しいユニットも登場しますし、楽しんでいただけるものにできればなと思っておりますので、ぜひね、あの、ま、お友達とご家族、ご兄弟、皆さん誘ってですね、一緒に楽しんでもらえるといいなと思っております。so in this fourth anniversary um as you saw there are many campaigns that are in the house so um and um to make and uh, we will continue to make the get the game even uh, better so um so do encourage your friends family siblings um who have you um to uh, to start the game too and um, you know further increase and in, further enrich the children look at my mom and dad yeah. in this <laughs> good night hybrid and last but not least, um, thank you so much for staying with us until the end after this um, two-hour long uh, live stream. <laughs> so uh, we look forward to continue serving you for uh, War of the Visions. Thank you so much. Thanks, Soroki. Right. Thank you, guys. If okay. you like the live stream, this live stream, please hit the like and subscribe to your our Smash channel. Smash that like button. Leave a comment and share on social media. Gotta do my part. So, thank you. Happy once four again years for global. Us in this live stream today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Are we done? And thank you, Noguchi san, for showing up as well. <laughs> <laughs> thank like you it. very much. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly what we wanted to be. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Sorry we couldn't like interact a little bit more. You know, there's. There's a part of me that wanted to keep the convo flowing, but the other half of me was like trying to listen at the same time. And obviously, like, you know, there's a lot of downtime with them translating back and forth. But yeah, that's how it is. I mean, we're we're reacting and, and kind of picking the spots when you can kind of get in there with the chat. So, yeah, we do. We do plan to come back and do another live stream relatively soon for our 50th episode. 
This is technically our 49th podcast, even though it was kind of a little bit different than what we do normally. But we will be back and do some more live stuff very soon. And that should be a lot of fun to kind of celebrate. Uh, we've been doing this for more than a year now together, which is Pretty kind awesome. of uh, fun to think about. So uh, we will be back very soon with you guys. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Thanks for hanging out with us. Obviously made it a, a lot more enjoyable. And I'm excited for both those units. I will attempt a couple pulls on both of them, obviously. It's nice to know that Dream is permanent pool, but... Um... Yeah, intrigued to see how they shake up the game. The game's in a good balance spot at the moment, I feel like. I definitely prioritize Oldoa because she's limited and she's a tank. Yep. And um, tanks generally get pretty good life span in this game. So, um, yeah, and then we'll see if if they don't go too poorly, then I'll go for Joom too. Yeah, I'm still excited to see the rest of Joom's kit. There's obviously other X factors that we need to consider. I'll be honest, I wasn't horribly impressed by what I saw. The buff is very nice, but like the offensive abilities, you know, I, I'm not a fan of that diamond or the AOE shape that we saw. I, I, I've not seen those used very well. Um, and, yeah. and the single target attack seemed to be very good, but it's a single target attack that, that I don't know, I got to see the rest of it. We don't want to uh, have like a Heo 2.0 situation. <laughs> Even worse, yeah. I mean, get like super hyped up and then just have it be a kind of a dud. Totally. To I mean, his was also like a, a meta timing thing, but right. Even now, like he's uh, he, he missed the boat. It's one of those things you think a unit will be good in the future, and then the game passes them by, they never get their chance. Exactly. Yeah, but all right. Well, we'll cut it here, guys, and we'll be signing off in a, in a minute because it is past midnight where we are. And, it's only Thursday. We have to work in the morning. I have to go to the office. <laughs> That's going to be a little Ooh. rough. But uh, but yeah, thanks again to everyone joining us. JB, thanks for, for pitching this idea. Do this together yep. was, was a fun way to shake it up. But until then, we'll, we'll talk to you guys in Discord, on YouTube, anywhere else. And we'll see you soon. Have a good night, everybody. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Sorry, I hate to kill the chat. You guys are going to town right now. I, I want <laughs>